Are you okay, Kitty? Are you okay? That's how the French resistance walks. So they can't be traced. So the French resistance go like that. So when they walk, they push themselves forward like that. But look at the print. Can't tell the direction really. That's how Marcel Marceau, the mime walked at certain times. So they push themselves forward. It's good for the snow too. That way they were able to overcome the Nazis and the multicultural Nazis too, just as they do today. And they're around you, they surround you. Everywhere you wake up and look, the French resistance is watching you. Check out Jesse Eisenberg and the resistance, pretty good movie. Don't ever mess with the mine. Plus, they don't talk. You can tell she's got a lot of discipline there. Parlez-vous français? Oui, oui, monsieur. There it is, the one and the only, the Fort of Worth. You see the skyline from here, all the beautiful snow. I don't know how many inches of snow we got. It is gonna be in the 20s tonight. And then I think tomorrow, I they say in the 30s or mid 30s. careful on this incline. That's some serious snow. Uh -huh. Serious snow. So they're probably both red. On all, are they, oh no, no, that's green. Okay, we're good. Yeah, it kind of dries out a little bit under the bridge. My suggestion though is, is to, to walk it, but get some good boots. That's the first thing my dad told me when I got to Maine. He said, better get some good boots because it gets cold up there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gotta finish this hamburger. I'm gonna chew in your ear. All right, we got Linda's breakfast. Can you 
Can you grab it? I know. Because you're on your phone. It's a kettle snow Christmas. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm actually a non-drinker and non-smoker. So that's one of the first McDonald's that's only drive through right there. They're experimental at McDonald's. It's like Call of Duty, Duty Snow Edition. Call it Duty. show i think linda woke up in the back kitty woke up too there's some dogs neighbor dogs i thought it was a cat but there's a cat that loves edmund it's either his mother or maybe one of his sisters or possibly a lover cat but he'll leave dead mice at the bottom of the stairs for kitty and Kitty can hear that cat and he'll go right to the window or he'll go to the back window and look for the cat. It's a great yawn there. Probably a neighbor dog. I was watching some husbands. I thought it'd always be cool if someone would do a filming location of Cassavetti's movies. This is probably an old YMCA or something. They use Peter Falk in it. I've been watching it over and over again. But I always get interrupted and I have to replay it and I always get to the basketball sequence. Did you wake up? Doing the werewolf. There you go. Do the werewolf. Do the werewolf. Feels so good he can't he can't stand it. Do the do the werewolf. <laughs> do the werewolf. Do the werewolf. Do the werewolf. <laughs> Feels so good you can't stand it, right, kitty? <laughs> Look at his paw. Doing the werewolf. They call it tuna spanks. Tuna spanks. Did you get your tuna spanks? Doing the werewolf. Do the werewolf. You want to cut this any finer or do you want to leave it like this? That's good. You sure? Okay, then we'll just leave it like this. I like it kind of whole. Then what we'll do is dump this in with the meat. 
Yeah, I'll do it with the meat. Um, let's go this way. There we go. Thank you. Alright. And then this will just be spread on a bed of rice. A little bit of this in there, and then we can steam it. We know, Kitty. We know you're hungry and you're ready to go. Water time! Water time! Kitty, Kitty, Kitty! Want some water? That should be clean in there, There's a lot of it. All right, we're at three more minutes. Well, three minutes down, countdown on the rice, and we're, we're pretty good. We'll, take a look at the meat, sweetie, and see what you think. Grab me one that's not frosted, and just one here, the brown one. Right over here. Take a look at the meat and see what you think. Looks good to me. Looks good? Okay. Do we want to spice it? Okay, yeah. Put that in there. It's a Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Oh, yeah, there we go. How do you say it? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. She says it best. Worcestershire sauce. Were you rednecks out there? Worcestershire sauce. Okay, make sure that's not going to be Stuff's too. good. All right. This is home cooking style. This is home cooking with Linda. But I started it, so it's going to be cooking with Cole and Linda. I'll add Linda on it. But you're welcome, man. Kitty, and Kitty Edmund. Because we're snow day two, and this will be going up as an independent cooking show. So, you think that's okay, Kitty? All right. Kitty doesn't. He doesn't disagree with it or anything. He's okay. He signed all the contracts. Right, Kitty? Signed all the contracts. All right, just one meow means yes. Two meows mean no. Ready? Meow. Okay. One meow means yes. Got it. As long as he gets some of the food, then he's good to go. Right, Kitty? Right? Okay, yeah, he nodded. I saw him nod. Thing is, in February, that's when you want to stock, stock up on food. At least in the cupboard. In the cupboard. You want to do dry foods and things like that. But you also, because of the winter storm. Right. I have a scholarship. Because of the winter storm, you want to have dehydrated foods during February. Yes. I've heard about it because what happened was everyone started cooking at the same time. And that's not good. So if you have dehydrated food or chips. Or what's called is, called is non-perishable. That's what you want to have in February. January and February, especially February in Texas. You want chips, beef jerky, all that stuff you want to get in the month of the end of January and the beginning of February. Or at least you want to get it a month in advance. So, you know, because if you're snowed in, what are you going to do? You're going to cook. And other people that are smart can do like non-perishable beef jerky and maybe like chips. Anyway. Right here. Just, or actually taste some of the rice and see if no, it's... Kitty, no, Kitty! What's he no doing? Rice. Oh, he's going in there. Yeah, just let him go in there. Kitty, don't go in there. Come on. Come on, Kitty. Come on. We don't want you throwing a turd in there. Come on. All right, there we go. Would you do me a favor and just grab that? Yes, one more thing. I need to put my phone down. I'm just guessing that it's done. Do you want okay. to taste it or do you want to like fluff it? It's okay. Okay. Then go ahead. I'll put it right here. And you can. All right. Hot water, go. hot water, hot water coming through. Hot water. Okay. Let's see what we got here. You could probably put it on that side. You just, I don't know. 
<laughs> the anal retentive chef. So, why don't we just pour some of the soap in it? <laughs> you want to use the other one? The steel one? You don't want, you want to use that one instead? Okay. She's Mrs. Clean. Okay. You can stir that in there. What do you call this with rice and, and hamburger meat? What's it called? That's sausage. Uh, sausage, right. Sausage. sausage. Rice and sausage, what do you call it? It's, raw, it's jambalaya. It's like a jambalaya. Yeah, I guess so. Jambalaya has the sausage. Oh, here it comes. Big kitty. kitty. Okay, kitty's, kitty's getting excited. And then we're gonna add this beef right here. I He was quick. He never jumps on the left side. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. Do you want to drain that or just add it in there? Just let it all be added in there. I say just add it in there. Yeah. Just add the grease and all that stuff in it. No, well, we don't eat too it's much part of the grease jambalaya. anyways. Yeah, you know. Know. And then I already added the Worcestershire sauce. I'll just so. call it uh, jambalaya with red, uh, That'd be fine. red peppers because... Or what we could do is just keep it separate and then put it in a bowl and mix it. We just want to throw it all together. Mm -hmm. Skip a little bit and just mix it because that's how it's going anyway. Yeah. What do you want me to do? I was saying, let's just go ahead and add it to the rice. I'll just do it. Show you what I'm talking about. Just add that to the rice. Because that's how we're going to eat it anyway. And just mix it up. I'm just trying to drain it a little bit. Uh -huh. Or if you want to drain it, go ahead. Why was the mime upset? They called her a clown. You don't ever do that. Ooh. <laughs> Squid. Don't ever call a mime a clown. Actually, Marcel Marceau called himself a clown. He was Beep the Clown. That was his character's name. When da, right, when da, but he wasn't a clown, he was a mime. That's good. He was different. But he, his character was called Beep the Clown. All right. All right. You might as well just eat out of the bowl. I'm not going to eat out of the bowl. We'll, we'll dish it out in separate things. Thank you, Lord, for the food. What do dogs say when they sneeze together? Yes. What do dogs say when they sneeze together? What? Shit. Shit. That's a hard word. Shit. Shit. Shoot. Shoot. They say what? That. Shoot. Shoot. Skew. You know that dog. <laughs> you know? I know what you're trying to say. Yeah, I can't say that word. <laughs> right. The way you say it is funnier. All right, but I know what you mean. 
So final touches. I would like guys, I would use this and we'd say a prayer. God knows we're grateful, but I got this working on the screenplay. So kind of see the laptop. Anyway, you're adding this is what Linda's doing. She's home jobbing it. She's adding croutons to it. Which um sounds pretty good. Hey, would you add some to mine? Okay, she did. Okay. And I'm doing Tabasco because it's a jambalaya. Do you want Tabasco or is it too spicy for you, sweetie? Mm, Tabasco? A drop or two. One drop or two. Watch out. It's spicy. Yeah. It's my stepdad's like favorite. He puts it on ice cream. And Kitty, did you get yours? Are you thankful? Kitty got um what what type of food? Tasteful? It's called tastefuls. Mm -hmm. And Cole's Jambalaya.